What is up everybody, it is Clutch, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be showing you guys how to instantly hit more headshots in critical ops. Being able to consistently hit headshots is key if you want to be a great player. And I'm going to be showing you guys three extremely easy ways to instantly pop more heads of your opponents. Not only is hitting a nice clean headshot one of the most satisfying things to do in the game, but it's also going to increase the time to kill on every weapon that you use. So, make sure to drop a like if you want to see more helpful content like this, and definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And if you want more tips and tricks, you're definitely going to want to check out my channel because I have a ton of videos that are going to help you improve your game and help you achieve a high rank. So, without further ado, let's jump on in. Tons of players always tell you to aim headshot level. However, if it is not working for you and you notice that you aren't hitting as many headshots as you normally do, I highly recommend that you aim upper chest level. Now before you dip out of this video and say, this guy is crazy, hear me out. If you're playing against some decent players, you guys may know that when you crouch, it increases your accuracy. But when they crouch, they're only going to be in your crosshair if you're aiming headshot level for like a split second, a split second to react to. And also, the distance you have to trace from headshot level all the way down to crouched headshot level is pretty is pretty sizable. So, what I recommend is aiming upper chest level, so when I peek around the corner, I'm looking at his chest. But when he goes to crouch, as you can see, I have that reaction speed, that extra distance, so I can react faster. And he's gonna cross right by my crosshair, his head, and I'm just gonna start shooting, bro, because... The distance is smaller to trace to from upper chest level to crouched headshot level. And if he stays standing up, the recoil of the gun is going to kick my gun up to his head. So it is a win-win situation. I only recommend that you do this though if you notice you're whiffing shots or if you're just not hitting headshots in general. Like you notice like, oh this match, I haven't hit any headshots. Maybe I should change this up. Maybe I'll try aiming upper headshot level. Pretty much aiming upper chest level works for me, um, that's pretty much all I do. I only think aiming headshot level works on low level players, players that aren't very good, or bots. I personally use this method all the time. I hit way more headshots aiming for upper chest than headshot level. Pre-aim, pre-aim, pre-aim. If you don't have goat flicks or if you don't pre-aim, this is what's gonna happen to you. You pretty much should be pre-aiming almost every corner you ever round, simply because it's much better than trying to flick to the target. You can combo this with the tip I gave before this one. You pre-aim upper body shot level or you pre-aim headshot level. It does depend on your situation. An easy way to practice pre-aim is literally just find all the common angles on a map and you'll, you'll find them out simply by playing the game. It's pretty easy to know the common angles and how to pre-aim them. Because you don't want to be like my friend right here where... What is he aiming at? The third and final tip we have using the bots in critical ops. Now what I highly recommend is that you turn off your aim assist, turn the match down to 4 minutes and put them on extreme bots. Put them on any uh, map that you want, preferably something small so it's not stop action. Put respawn time on 1 second and literally jump in and frag out dude. Only go for headshots, try going for one taps, spray control taps, uh, flick headshot taps. I do recommend that you use extreme bots, nothing lower because it's not that extreme anyway and we're trying to put as much pressure on your aim as possible, which in turn is going to help you frag out way more and hit way more headshots. So those are three tips that really helped out my game and I really think that they're going to help you out too. If you guys did enjoy or if you found any use of this video, definitely hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a video. Again, if you want to join my Discord too, you can get notified of all my streams, uploads, and all that good stuff and just general chatting. Links to my Discord will be in the description down below. But that's all the time I have for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.